As tensions rise in the Mideast, European markets are near session lows just ahead of the close, while U.S. stock index futures are falling. Oil and gold prices are rising. The markets here, of course, are closed for the President's Day holiday. Joining us now from Albuquerque, New Mexico, is Lee Munson, Chief Investment Officer at Portfolio Asset Management. Um, Lee, you are watching the markets just as we are, and Dow futures are falling right now. What do you think is going to happen this week? What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Well, I'm not too concerned about the futures market. Um, I would say that, that once we get some certainty, you really have to think about the anatomy of a trade. If you look at something like Egypt, you have the potential crisis where things like oil and gold start to ramp up. And then once we have the certainty that you know, Egypt has, quote unquote, fallen or you know, presidents leave, uh, then the markets tend to rebound because they like to have certainty in the market, even a certain crisis. Libya is a little bit different, though. You know, a lot of people my age and up uh, remember from the 80s all the type of uh, defense problems that Libya uh, created and the terrorism that that country uh, uh, created for the world. But, you know, that's kind of an old story right now. I think what Libya represents is the ability for a closed nation to start to, uh, you know, get up upheaval. Uh, I think Yemen uh, is a perfect example. But Saudi Arabia is really a thing nobody wants to talk about. I wouldn't worry about it. I'd still stay with U.S. domestic stocks. And I wouldn't try to, try to play the gold trade or try to play the eurozone. We've been out of Europe uh, for about a year now, mostly because of sovereign debt issues. But it's a time to remind investors and people watching this right now that, you know, statistically, you don't get a lot of diversification for investing in the European indexes uh, to American stocks. And this is just yeah. another reason to, to stay America-centric. You know, you're saying that the market would want to see Libya settle down or see some certainty one way or the other. It seems like we're a very long way from that. If you see Qaddafi's son on right. TV last night saying, you know, they're not leaving. So do you just stay right. away from the region entirely? You know, I would. Now, I, you know, run a traditional RIA, but I also run a hedge fund. So we like to be opportunistic. So I like to play oil, and we've been trading oil and gold around the situation. Okay. But I do think for investors who are making longer-term investments, they need to know this is going to take years to sort out. And the whole region, uh, it, it's not going to be something done next week. I think the main thing to do is not try to play this in terms of stocks. Think about all the multinationals that have cronies or oligarchs that they've spent millions and billions investing in. We saw what happened to Egypt, you know, your, your, your trade partner is an oligarch and he's booted out of the country, where are you? So yeah. I would say that the Eurozone and especially Italy, that's what you're seeing right now in Milan. Anything that has that type of exposure is okay. mostly Eurocentric. Well, then you brought it up. Talk to me about WTI. It's up about five bucks right now. Mm -hmm. This is electronic yeah. trading, so it's a little lighter right. volume. I think they've traded maybe 53,000 contracts um, on the session. Not that much, yeah. What happens tomorrow, do you think? Do we give back this five bucks? Um, I don't know. You know, um, I'm long uh, WTI, so you know, I'm really hoping that it goes higher. Uh, I think oil will go higher. I think the big difference right now is that today you're seeing oil and gold as commodities shoot up in electronic trading on thin volume. The rubber's going to hit the road when people realize um, they're going to start looking at the WikiLeaks from a couple weeks ago uh, that came out about uh, Saudi Arabia possibly having some differences uh, on their reserves. I think the oil goes higher because we all know that the supply is going to to be uh, altered or there's going to be mm -hmm. the perception of it. Gold, I think, is where I would draw a line in the sand and not try to chase gold uh, because as the crisis becomes real versus perceived. A lot of people are going to be cashing it in. All right, Lee, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it.